I was looking through some of the comments and some folks seem to think that the WaveTech rangefinder or the market grid is Bollinger Bands. And what I want to do is show you the difference between Bollinger Bands and the proprietary indicator that I built for determining daily ranges. Now, Bollinger Bands are, are used by a lot of folks. Uh, John Bollinger used to be on uh, board of directors of a company that I ran once back in 1990. You know, John's done some great work, but I just want to show you the difference between the two so you understand that what I'm doing is not standard deviation lines like what John has done. It has a lot more utility, especially for short term trading. Let's get to the screens so I can show you what I'm talking about. Taking a look at the S&P cash market, these numbers tend to work really well with S&P cash. So you can use them as turning points to trade off of. I want to contrast the difference between the WaveTech rangefinder and Bollinger Bands. Primary difference is the WaveTech rangefinder was developed to predict the daily ranges or a bar range. So it could be used on a five minute graph or any length of graph and it will give you predictions of what the likelihood or of high lows and different support areas during the day. The primary feature of this indicator, which currently only is available on TradeStation, and I'm working on the potential of releasing some of these indicators, make sure you go to the KendallReport.com and put your information there so when we have future offerings, you'll know about them. This indicator is very powerful, especially if you're a day trader or doing any type of scalping, even over multiple days and patterns. And I'm not going to go through all the details here, but I do want to make sure that you understand that these are not standard deviation lines. They are actually volatility lines. And the way they're calculated is there's a three day look back. It looks at the average range for the past three days, and then it calculates a Fibonacci ratio sequence based upon yesterday's close or the last bars close. So this could be a five minute graph a one hour daily, weekly, so forth. So any length of chart, it's going to predict the daily range. And you'll see that there's a fair amount of accuracy around these numbers. Let's take a quick look at some random samplings of the indicator at work. On 513, the high was 2825, the low was 2799. R1 was 2829, which the high was about four points shy of that number. On the downside, we, we went near S3, and that's where the reversal happened. So this particular session showed that we had a reversal off S3, 27.97. The low was 27.99. It closed near the highs of the session after printing up to 28.25 with an S1 value of 28.37. But these are the kind of things that you want to watch for is reversal points around these numbers. These are the type of events you want to look at to try to position yourself around these numbers, depending on what type of trading ideas you have. What the primary function is, if especially on an intraday basis, is looking for a reversal point on a five or 15 minute bar to tell you that they're reversing in this range, especially if you're using the daily numbers. Now, the daily numbers I'm putting out right now on the channel. Ultimately, we're working on an offering that for TradeStation users are going to be able to have these indicators. The patterns themselves, you can see, do expand and contract as volatility changes or the daily ranges change. That's the one characteristic that makes it look like the Bollinger Bands. So let's put a Bollinger Band overlay on top of this. And I want to show you some of the things that I know that a lot of folks struggle with and I certainly have always struggled with in using Bollinger Bands. Now we have an overlay of the Bollinger Bands and the there's three lines. The center line is basically a 21 period moving average. These are just the typical settings that are used. Obviously, you can change these settings and adjust these. But one of the things that I often struggle with is when Bollinger Bands and these deviation lines start to spread out and you get these big bubbles around the market. Now the, the orange line on the bottom is the extreme lower band. The upper band is the black line. So you can see they, they come in and there's some correlation sometimes with the WaveTech rangefinder. But the WaveTech rangefinder, you'll see most of the time is going to define the extremes on a day to day basis. 
And it also will tell you about trends when you're seeing sawtooth trends, even up or down. They, that's helpful as well. And I'll go into more rules and understanding of how to use these lines once we get some offerings out there. So there'll be more need for education on how to use these. But for now, I want you to understand the difference. This is the primary difference here. And you can see that the Bollinger Bands tend to set up a very wide band where the, the WaveTech rangefinder determines a tighter range of expectations on a day-to-day -day basis, which is much more useful, especially from a day trader standpoint. Now let's just flip this over and let's go to an hourly graph just to get a feel for what that looks like. And you can see even more of these bubble formations, I call them, where the standard deviation lines just broaden out. But if you look at the WaveTech lines here, you can see they really defined the ranges as we go forward. And this is predicted one day in advance. If you're looking at these bands for today, as soon as the close happens, then there's a new prediction for tomorrow. You're going to see on the WaveTech rangefinder, there are eight values that get generated every day. There's R1, 2, and 3, and then RXT, which is the extreme projection for the day. And then there is S1, 2, 3, and the extreme on the downside. Depending on which way the market's going, whether it's trending up or down, you'll get some indications of what numbers are going to hit. So if you have an uptrend, the PPMs are positive and they're going up, then you're going to probably see an S1, R2. If the PPMs are declining, into trend level, you're probably going to see R1, S2, or you could go to the extreme numbers on the downside or the inverse on the upside. The point of the WaveTech rangefinder is to determine the probabilities for the next bar, and it helps with day trading. Now, this is an hourly graph, so each hour there is a prediction of what it's going to do. And you'll find once you look for five minute, 15 minute reversals, even off the daily numbers, you're going to be able to find some great trigger points for your, your day trading and your scalp. In the future, once we get an offering out there, I will be going through even more characteristics of how to use these on a short term trade basis, maybe three to five sessions and other types of techniques. This indicator was originally created to help my hedge customers and my big bank customers to help define trade locations, putting hedges on against bonds and other financial instruments. Thanks again for watching and thanks for being a subscriber to the channel and supporting everything I do. I really appreciate it. Thanks folks. Talk to you soon.